Hi, I'm born and brought up in Mumbai, and currently I'm pursuing my master's degree in wine and spirits management at Kedge Business School here in Bordeaux, in France. Okay, so when did you come to France? I came here uh, in September 2021, uh, when it was like just the end of second wave in India. Till now, how is the living experience here in France? The living experience here has been very good so far and in terms of even in the study, the, the education system is developed in such a way that there is a perfect balance between a theoretical as well as practical knowledge. So you actually learn by doing, which is very good. Is it safe to study in France? Yes, definitely. It is totally safe to study and also there is a range of business schools. Only thing you need to take care of when you are talking about safety is I feel just check for your location when you are actually looking for your accommodation. That's it. So do you think France is a good place to study? Definitely, it's a very good place to study and the thing is there are a range of courses which you can choose and even the different business schools are there which you can actually choose which one you want to go and it's, it's been situated in different cities. So it's like you can, you can actually go for what you exactly want and even the admission process is not very complicated so even that, that's like a plus point for everyone. And what can you say about your COVID experience? Uh, COVID experience, I would say I actually landed here post COVID, like the end of second wave. And it has been, it has been in such a way that uh, the classes were 100% offline. And maybe during December 2021, when the situation was a pretty bad year, students were allowed to attend the classes online. So even though it's with COVID or without COVID, it did not have any much effect on the classes or even in your uh, regular studies. So that is like a good thing to think about. Is it possible to study in France without knowing French? Oh, I, I would say no. I, I would recommend definitely, definitely coming here with at least some basic level of French. Even though it's you do not have any certifications or anything like that, that's fine. But uh, make sure that you know a basic communication where you can actually communicate with people. Uh, the course here would not ask you to learn French because it's in English, so everything is in English. The teachers will speak to you in English, the conversation would be in English. But then it's like, uh, for example, I can tell you it's like if you are staying in Delhi without knowing Hindi or maybe you are staying in Bombay without knowing Marathi. So it's like it's not something, it's not someone who's asking you to do it, but if you want to go through it and to be very uh, to survive easily, the, the learning French is highly recommended because if you go out to a supermarket or maybe to carry out your administrative processes over there, the people, they do not speak English. It's, it's just French. And the, my personal experience has been, it's like even though you cannot speak very fluent, but then if they see that, yes, you are actually making some kind of uh, efforts to communicate, they will try their level best to make sure that they understand what you are trying to tell them. So it, it's it's highly recommended, I would say, that uh, maybe uh, communicate with people who, who speak French or maybe watch some videos online. And if you do not have time to go for classes or have like proper certification, at least try to know some basic words and some basic communication that would be like an added benefit for your overall stay here in, in France. How much does it cost to live in France? Okay, when we talk about the overall expense, it's like the major part of your expense goes for the place, like the rent of the place where you're staying. So it actually differs. It, it's, it's kind of like you can stay in Paris and have minimum expenses because you are staying in a student accommodation like cruise. Or at the other side, you can stay in Bordeaux, which is generally the living cost is less, but you can you end up spending more because your accommodation or the place we are staying, it's, it is like a private place. 
so the major part of your as i said it, it goes for your place where you're staying so be very careful when you're choosing where you want to stay and i would definitely recommend going for a student accommodation like cruise because uh, you'll have different nationalities staying like your no neighbors would be like haiti or maybe from some other country so it's a mix of culture even at the place where you're staying and apart from that the the regular expenses would include food and the traveling benefit in that is uh, students have some extra discounts when it comes to the traveling passes where the amount is actually lesser than the usual one and if we talk about food it depends on if you prefer cooking at home or you prefer eating it out but in general if you'll see it won't be like it should be around 400 euros to 1000 euros a month depend on how you want to spend it how do one go about acquiring a job in france uh if you talk about job i would highly recommend first taking an internship because it's going to be like your first experience working here in a broad country so you actually need to know about how the system works so at least you should start with your internship and then look for job opportunities there are plenty of job opportunities just like in india we have different platforms there are different platforms which you can go for and apply and even the st- uh, the school where you are studying or the business school or the place where you are actually pursuing your degree they help you throughout your process so it has been it it's like a place where you'll definitely get a job but then at the same time there is no easy way you have to work hard you have to apply to several places and then uh before even starting uh, start to apply you have to set up your path that how exactly you want to go about it what all places you want to look for and which all positions and then develop your network in such a way that uh you have references where people can actually refer to you and it becomes much more easier for you to secure a job opportunity um and it's not just like a job but paris has been a place where there are so many startups so even if you are looking to start your own business or become an entrepreneur you have plenty of chances to work here and go forward with that too what are the other added benefits of studying in france oh added benefit if you talk about added benefits for student particularly there are a lot um france particularly they have such they have developed their health system in such a way that uh, you stay in a hospital you should not but then in case if you st- if you have to go to a hospital or maybe you have to get hospitalized you stay there and then you step out of it without paying a single penny your a- entire health insurance or your en- entire uh, stay or the health care has been taken care by the government itself so the you you don't have to worry much about your health or the expenses you want to spend in case if something goes wrong and particularly in covid that is something which is very important uh, apart from that uh, for your accommodation the government pays kind of 30% approximately 30% of your entire rent has been taken care by the government which is also called as caf caf um during covid they also uh, developed few other benefits like for students they distribute free food packets which consist of basic things like maybe rice or flour which you can take back home and cook it by yourself some fresh fruits so your expense on food item also goes down so in these way there are little here and there lot of uh, added benefits which you can as a student you can always benefit and plus for indian students you get an extra year of staying back visa which is like the best thing and maybe i don't think any other country would offer you that 